In this video, we are going to look the detailed solution of GET Chemical Engineering 2017 paper. So here, the first question that we have given, that we have been given, uh, one-dimensional unstatistic heat conduction equation with n, and we uh, for the uh, cylindrical coordinates, we need to find the value of n so that it corresponds to the one-dimensional heat unstatistic heat conduction equation. So first, we will derive this equation by considering a cylinder of radius r and an elemental cylinder of small radius r with the outer radius as r plus delta r. Now we will apply the energy valence that is energy in minus energy flow out equals to rate of accumulation. So here we are defining flux that is Q in is the flux inside the cylinder and Q out as the flux leaving the cylinder. So we will write the energy in that will be area into Q in that is flux that is will be 2 pi r into L into Q in at r equals to r minus 2 pi r L into Q out at r plus delta r equals to rate of accumulation can be written as ncp dt by dt further this mcp can be written as m uh, rho vcp dt by dt that can be expressed as a rho into 2 pi r l into delta r dt by dr so this term we will uh, we get from by opening this elemental cylinder and this will be approximately a cuboid with length L, this will be delta R and this the length will be 2 pi R. This is a cylindrical, uh, this will be the length, this will, this will be a cylinder. So now for the simplifying this equation, we will get L, L, L will get cancelled 2 pi, 2 pi will get cancelled and this will become R into q in minus r at r equals to r q out at r equals to delta r plus delta r the equals to rho into delta r into cp dt by dt now further simplifying this equation we will get r q in minus r q out Wherever delta r is equals to rho c p r dt by dt. So this from mathematics this can be expressed as this is an expressed in terms of in minus out and we express the delta terms as out minus in. So this minus sign will come out and this will become del of del r of r q equals to rho cp r dt by dt for the simplifying uh, this equation we have the flux can be expressed as k dt by dy so substituting this in this equation and uh, differentiating we will get uh, this minus minus sign will get cancelled and it will become simply del o del r of r k dt by dr this is r equals to rho cp r dt by t uh, we are sending this r here so it will become 1 by r del o del r of r k del t by del r equals to rho cp dt by dt so now we can see this equation we have derived uh, for the one dimensional un un unsteady state heat conduction and the value of Na should be 1. So comparing this equation and the equation given, so the value of N should be 1. Then it will correspond to the one dimensional unsteady state conduction. Now in next question, in a heat exchanger, the inner diameter of a tube is 25 mm and its outer diameter is 30 mm. 
the overall heat transfer coefficient based on the inner area is 360 that is given and the overall heat transfer coefficient based on the outer surface should be so here we have heat exchanger uh, so we are making this uh, this will be a heat exchanger this is the inner surface and this is the outer surface so we have u in and we have u out now the heat flow from in and the heat flow from out surface should be same from the energy balance so we have u in a in into delta t l m should be equals to u out a out delta t l m now delta t delta t will be same and we will have area as u in will be u in into 2 pi or it can be expressed as uh, pi d o l equals to u out into pi d o this is this is out this is in into l so l l will get cancelled and it, this equation will simplify as a u in d i equals to u out d out so from here we can get u out equals to u in u in d i upon d out which is given as u in as 360 into d i s uh, we have 25 and u is 30 so we will get this as 300 watt per degree celsius meter square this will be the overall heat transfer from the outside surface now now next question let i be lambda be the spectral and black body radiation in intensity per unit wavelength about the lambda wavelength lambda the black body radiation intensity emitted by black body overall wavelength is so we have from theory we know that this can be expressed as i b lambda versus lambda we have different black body curves now to express this uh, uh, from lambda to from uh, various lambda the area under the curve will give the value of uh, the black body radiation intensity so this mathematically this can be expressed as integral of 0 to infinity i b lambda into d lambda so this integration will represent the area under the curve that corresponds to the black body radiation intensity for uh, all wavelengths so option c will be correct for this now next question a horizontal fluid flows over a heat horizontal plate maintain a temperature tw the work temperature of the fluid is t infinity the temperature profile is uh, given by this equation here y is the vertical distance from the plate and delta is the thickness of the thermal boundary layer and we are asked to calculate the local heat transfer coefficient so first we will understand the, phys uh, the physical meaning of the problem that here we have one plate which is kept at Tw temperature and a fluid is flowing over it. So there will be a generation of thermal boundary layer and this is the fully thermal boundary layer with thickness del T. This is at y equals to 0 and this is at y equals to del T. So and this we have the temperature y and T as variable. Oh, this is the bulk part where the fluid is flowing and the temperature of the bulk part is t infinity now uh, for the local heat transfer coefficient uh, we have the conduction from the lower plate and we have the convection over this as this is the fluid so there is a conduction and convection and the heat flow from the conduction to convection will be equal at y equals to zero so this uh, using this boundary condition we have h a T infinity minus Tw equals to Ka dt by dy at y equals to 0 because the conduction from the plate will be equals to the convection in the fluid. So applying this we have uh, now dt by dy we will calculate from the equation given. So we will have dt by dy at y equals to 0 it will be Tw will be 0 and it will simply Tw minus T infinity into 3 by 2 of uh, 1 by del T into y upon del T square 
minus 3 by 2 of 1 by del t. So this will be the equation and now we will put uh, y equals to 0 term in this. So it will become dt by dy at y equals to 0 it will be simply uh, t uh, we are taking minus sign common so we are taking out t infinity minus tw 3 by 2 of y equals to 0 uh, this minus sign and this minus sign will become positive and it will become 3 by 2 of 1 by del t so now putting this equation in this equation we will get uh, h equals to k t infinity minus t w into 3 by 2 of 1 by del t divided by t infinity minus t w from here so this t infinity minus t w will get cancelled and we will obtain the local heat transfer coefficient as k into 3 by 2 of 1 by del t so here the C option option C will be correct now in the next question in nuclear boiling the pressure inside the bubble is higher than the pressure of the surrounding liquid assuming the um, both liquid and vapor are saturated the temperature of the liquid will always be so here we have a bubble in which there is a vapor inside this is the surface of the bubble and we have bulk liquid and we are asked uh, that uh, the nuclear boiling phenomena is occurring so what will be the condition of the temperature at bulk liquid as compared to the vapor or the surface so in nuclear boiling in nuclear boiling uh, we have always the surface temperature or the vapor temperature is slightly greater than the liquid temperature this is the phenomena that occurs in the nuclear boiling so this phenomena nuclear boiling itself occurs when these conditions are satisfied so here we can say that tv should be always greater than tl so from here we can infer that the liquid temperature should be always lower than the vapor temperature so option b will be correct so that's all about the heat transfer part of uh, for the get chemical engineering 2017 paper for any clarification or, or doubt you can always post a comment uh, below this video uh, we are always ready to help you uh, till then for the next video goodbye thank you